Finding out 10 years after marriage that your husband has been unfaithful to you. He's secretive and a miserable cheat. I don't want to ever get pregnant for him. What we're about to dive into is a lot. So I decided to get my remaining wine to talk about this because it is heavy. Meanwhile, what I'm having is actually a drink I got from, my friend actually got it from me. It is ruby, it is chocolate velvet ruby. It's called rubies. It's empty. I actually started drinking this. I don't know, am I the only one that keeps wine? Especially if it's, I mean, it has to be covered properly, but I kept this since my birthday. We did not finish it and I'm still having it. And it is, um, it is wine, but a chocolate flavor wine. I don't, I'm not, I don't know if, who am I to want to not promote a brand? See the name. How much, how much do I have in my, Aza, in my account? So this is what I'm having. This is not my post. Ashwe Miss Ashwe B Miss underscore Ashwe B posted this and then the responses have been crazy You just realize that women are going through things. So let's get into it Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here and you're seeing this face for the first time Please hit that subscribe button and follow your girl. Give me thumbs up and comments and everything. We're trying to get there we're trying to get there. Please help our ministry. So, Miss Underscore Ashwebi, not Ashwebi Bella, but Miss Underscore Ashwebi uploaded something on their Insta story. I don't know if it's run by a man or a woman, but they uploaded something on their Insta story which reads, I hope I'm recording. Okay, I am. Which reads, Dear married girl, to you, what's the hardest part of marriage? My friend sent it to me and I decided to go through comments it's actually a lot if you can see here like this is their story so much to get to but let's go through them together shall we and see some some what people are going through what girls ladies are going through in their marriages now good thing about this post is you can't tell who sent in what but i have to put my phone on silence you can't tell who sent in what but you can see the post you can comment and they repost it, not repost it, but they put it on the story and they are not tagging you. So it's like a venting session for most ladies. So let's get into it. Shall we? Dear married girl, to you, what's the hardest part of marriage? This is when you put everyone else before you and still feel unappreciated. I know that can be hard, girl. That can be hard, but I'm going to, before I even start saying so much, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a mom geo. I've been married for just six years. This is my sixth year. So I don't know so much. But I'm just going to give my advice how I see fit. Not saying I don't have challenges I'm going through in my own marriage or that I go through. Every marriage has its ups and downs, but I mean, it is what it is. Depends on who you're married to. If the person is... Mm, depends on, you know, how you decide to go about it. That's why they say if you make... If you marry the wrong person, then you are in for it. So just pray and hope. Everybody's prayer and hopes is that, you know, they settle with the right person. Luckily for me, I have found the right person. Or I found the right person. Or the right person found me. Or we found each other. So, yeah. I'm just going to read people's comments, basically. About to, when you know that you will wake up every day to see the same person around you is tiring. I mean, if you love the person, you shouldn't be tired of seeing that person every day. In my own case, I want to see you every day, if I can. So, this is a bit strange. Another person says, house chores, especially in the abroad where there is no help. I hear that can be really hard. I haven't lived abroad before. I've visited, but I haven't lived. So, it can be really hard if you can find a means or get help any way you can. It's usually good because I feel like over there, it can be really lonely. You don't have friends and family like... In Nigeria to help you out with the kids and stuff so you might put a strain on your relationship if you're not having enough or spending enough time with your husband or your partner this one says that you need his approval for every damn thing you now have to confirm to his policies ideals opinions I'm very submissive but I'm also an individual with my own opinions and ideals I think she means ideas now all of a sudden I'm um, 
I'm a sub person. It has to be his will or nothing. I, I don't think it should be that way. He has his own ideas. You have your own ideas. I don't think you should now be a sub person. You're still a person. That's why it's always good to marry the right person that allows you to be you and share your ideas. Your ideas might not necessarily be right or same as his, but that understanding that, you know, it might not always be the same and that he understands that, you know, your ideas are your ideas and his ideas are his ideas. Not someone that shuts down your ideas all the time. I don't know if you get what I mean. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes we ladies, when we're going through stuff or when we're thinking things in our head, we don't share with them. We just think about it and assume or assume that they think or, or assume that they know what we're saying. And they might not necessarily know what we're saying or where we're coming from. If you share, he might be understanding and, you know, things might be easier. I'm just saying. Oh, did I share that I used a lip stain from my friend? This lip stain is from my friend. Chino, sorry, everybody. Look at me is the brand. Okay, yeah, so this is a lip stain from Look At Me. You guys can focus, focus, focus on it. Can it focus? Is it focused? Yes, look at me if you like it. I'll leave our Instagram handle in the description box so you can get yours. Bag yours. Normally I wouldn't do this, but so far I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Plenty. For this person, the hardest part about marriage is plenty. Giving myself three years, if I still feel miserable, I'm living with my child. I don't want to ever... To even have more kids for him. I suffered during my last pregnancy. <sighs> How bad can it be? See, I'm seeing some terrible or scary responses. They are really scary. Someone, someone else says, The responses scares me. Not yet married, but my man is very sexual. I'm scared that I may not be enough. Yee, you might want to talk to your man. Then someone else says, being married to someone that lies, cheats, I'm tired already. So far, it's beginning to be like irregular. So far, all the comments are beginning to seem alike. Let me put it that way. Dealing with his mom constantly trying to separate us and control him is draining. When it has to do with a mother-in-law, I feel like it is very, it's very dicey. So for instance, your mother-in-law... Or you get married to someone that the mom does not like. You're getting married to someone and his mom does not like you. Honestly speaking, <clears throat> honestly speaking, I wouldn't advise you to go into it because you're not getting married to just him. If it was abroad, you get married to the guy and that's it. In Nigeria, you're getting married to his family. He's getting married to your family. But it's a man's world, sort of, in this part of Africa. So, I feel like... If his family, his mom is not in support, you could have seen the signs before getting in. But you went in. And now, you feel like the mom is con constantly, she said, constantly trying to separate us and control him. It's draining. I feel for you, girl. It must be tough. It must really be tough. Trying to put myself first and not feel guilty about it. Don't feel guilty about it. Sometimes you put yourself first because if you do not, you cannot take care of other people if you cannot take care of, if you don't take, take care of yourself. Self-care is very important. This 2021, I saw a post about self-care self making people feel like they can be selfish. If you have to be selfish once in a while, do that. Because when you're in the right frame of mind, you can take care of the kids, you can take care of the home, and you can also be a good wife to someone. This person says, balancing a successful career COVID demand and being a new wife, I was overwhelmed. I, I can imagine how overwhelming it would have been for ladies or couples who got married during COVID because you are forced to live with, with each other for a year. Literally a year. Almost a year. It said in March, January, February, March, March, April. So being in each other's faces every day can be tough. Before you got married, you were not in each other's faces every day. Then because of COVID, you now had to. It must be tough. It will be tough. Even people that have been married 10 years, spending every day because of COVID with themselves, it will stop for them. Talk less or talk more of you that just got married. The fact that everyone thinks you have to be perfect because you're married. 
No one thinks you have to be perfect. Funny enough, we put so much pressure on ourselves as married people. We feel like we have to be perfect. We have to do things in a way that pleases people. We have to act right, dress right, do so many things in ways that we feel like people want us to. Or people do so many things in a way that we feel like people want to see or know. But it's not necessarily the case. That's just you thinking. People might not care that much. Even if they do, so what? Sometimes you, you try to be that perfect person and people are still talking about you. So why not just do you? You don't have to be so perfect. You don't have to try to be perfect. Just be you. Uh, this one says, still haven't gotten to him farting and snoring after five years of marriage, by the way. My sister is what you signed up for. You don't have siblings. They never farted in your presence. So, I mean, it's what you signed up for. <laughs> you have to live with it. You have to get used to it. Try. So what's the hardest part? Hardest part of marriage is having to compromise. That cannot be the hardest part because you're getting into marriage knowing fully well that your last name is compromise. What your name and compromise. My name is Docas Compromise. My name is Docas Forgiveness. My name <clears throat> My name is Docas everything that comes in marriage. Sacrifice, compromise. So I don't think this person is ready for marriage. You're calling this the hardest part. You're not ready. Hardest part is having to think of what to cook when I was single. I can just eat crackers and drink water. This person not lie. It's actually difficult having to think of what to cook. Sometimes, my husband even knows this. Sometimes, I'll ask him, what do you want to eat? Just so that he can say, okay, I want to eat that. And then I'll be like, oh, that's what, that's what I will eat. Because sometimes it's difficult thinking of what to eat. It is, well, in my case, I'm not thinking of what to eat for my entire family. Like, everybody eats what they want to eat but it's having to think of what to eat for myself like what to make for myself to eat so sometimes i even need help like okay babe what do you want to eat when he says he wants maybe noodles i'm like i'm eating noodles too you know dealing with someone who does not value you know the importance of communication the thing is with things like this is always a process you have to learn and get better at it it's it's always tough especially in the first five years or so, for some people the first year but eventually, you guys will be on the same page. It's, you can't bring two people from different backgrounds and expect them to just come in and live in one house and not think all of these challenges will not come up. Even living with your friends, things come up. Your siblings, though, that you were born by the same parents, things come up. The same background, things come up. So a different person, of course. Oh, my friends are calling. Let me see your face now. Say hello to, to my YouTubers. <laughs> She threw the phone away out there. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is a shy one. But funny enough, if I show you this way, it won't be very visible. Like when I maybe put up your post or your video. So this way is not so bad. So guys, this is the only way she will appear on my YouTube channel. Because, I mean, she's a boss and she's shy. So, hey, yeah, bye-bye. Let me finish recording. I'll call you back. Finding out after 10 years of marriage that your husband has been unfaithful to you and you have devoted to him you have been devoted to him all through the marriage it hurts to my bones it hurts and i can imagine i mean i don't know what to say i really don't know what to say because i'm sure it's not a good feeling but then again 10 years must be hard even <laughs> the the blogger uploaded so sorry can you see so sorry down there i mean so sorry everything is hard broken but god will help me i want to go home newly married i'm not happy here it's secretive and a miserable cheat i don't want to ever get pregnant for him now this is tough oh. he just got married he's secretive he's a, he's a miserable cheat i don't want to ever get pregnant for him the way people are letting things off their chest on social media you know that some marriages are struggling. Some marriages are really struggling. Married the love of my life. Well, so I thought. Found out he was cheating with his supposed ex. Forgave him only to find out he was still sleeping with the girl. And even told her I was the biggest. And also told me she was the biggest mistake of his life too. Met up with the girl only to find out he. He's been playing both of us. All hell broke loose. Now he can't forgive me for finding out he's a liar. I hate to forgive. 
I hate forgive him for breaking me and things keep getting worse. We basically leave as roommates. There's no point. Just leave. Just leave. Leaving as roommates. What's the point? Dealing with a cheating partner who cheats all the time and doesn't see anything bad in it. The worst part is I can't question him because when I do, it's insult and fight. Finding out he's cheating confronts... See, most of the comments I've been seeing has been about cheating, 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 cheating. It seems like that's the norm these days. That is what it seems like. I hope and I pray that all married women will find peace in their homes because it must be tough living with somebody you cannot forgive you cannot trust you cannot stay i've been seeing comments and it's crazy crazy like i can't go through everything i can't go through everything and it's crazy cheat lack of sex constant sex the hardest part is my husband intentionally trying to stop me from working or making money he jeopardizes all my efforts of being independence because it feels i'm too much for him and i'll eventually be richer i'm now a shadow of myself because i'm not reaching full potential i'm just hanging on for my kids this is crazy social media is crazy what i'm seeing on here just i think i'm just grateful that i'm married to someone that you know allows me be me and wants even wants me to be independent these are signs that i feel like some of us miss in marriages or some ladies miss in marriages not some of us because i noticed right from when we're dating that he always wanted me to be better he always wanted me to do better so when you notice the sign of him not wanting you to be better than him or not wanting you to have a job i'm sure you not just start it was you saw signs before it became a thing before you got married so it's always good to watch before you leave say watch before you leap or leap before you yeah watch before you leap you know the comments here you guys if you can follow me underscore ashwebi on instagram it is crazy i'm going through it some reactions to the post there are a lot of replies still pending and she can't you know even post everything that people posted i also posted on uh, reply that post and i said because her question is, dear married girl, to you, what's the hardest part of marriage? My own response to that post was, the responses are, are scary and would probably like scare single ladies reading it. Though some of them will probably not want to get married. But I feel like at this point, she should also say, dear married girl, to you, what's the best part of marriage? Because it can't all be bad. These are bad comments here. There are a lot. Like, there are probably almost 50 here. If not more. These are bad parts. But there are good parts that come to marriage. Marriage is... I can't speak so much of marriage because I'm not a... What's the word? I'm not a pastor. I'm not... I've not been married 60 years. But marriage is tough. It comes with its own challenges. But there are also good parts. So, I feel like people should push that more than... All of these because this, this is scary like the comments if you're not married and you say all these things as a girl you probably don't want to get married so i feel like she should also ask what's the best part of getting married or of being married because it comes with love that i feel like if there are more bad parts than good parts then it's probably an issue but if you have more good parts and enjoyable parts i feel like I mean, it is worth celebrating. They don't put that out there. It's just the negative, negative, negative. I feel like people should, you know, reduce the negativity and sort of promote their lovely marriages. My friend, she has um, a documentary channel. She puts out some good and positive things about marriage. Oh, she documentaries. And she brings couples together and then they talk about how much they love each other, the best times they've had together. Because in life, most... A lot of people marry because, okay, they want a partner and they want to go through life with someone. Some people just marry because they just want to get married and, okay, I've joined the number of girls that are married. But the ones that go through life or get married because they want a partner in life, to go through life with someone, I feel like they should be celebrated. Those ones should be celebrated more and, yeah, everything is tough. Life is tough. In marriage, yes, it has a tough, it's challenges. 
you're single, you're in a relationship, you still have challenges. You're working in your office, you still have challenges. In your home, in your, in your school, studies, everything, in your friendships, with your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your... You know, there are still challenges with your siblings. It's just picking the right person to go through that tough time and everything with. So, yeah, I think I've, I've said too much and the comments are actually too many. I can't go through everything. And like I said... Don't go and say I said, Doka said, no, I'm just, this is just my opinion. So yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I can't go through everything. They're actually too much. I'll be here all day if I have to go through everything. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, if you've gotten this far, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. If you think um, marriage is tough, let me know why you think marriage is tough for you. And let's have the conversation going in the comment section. I'll respond to as many comments as I can. And um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.